thank you for watching this tutorial now in this tutorial you will learn how to use the EQ Peak development board okay you will also start exploring some of its functionality okay all right and we will also discover how to add additional module like this to add extra functionality to your project okay so how to add additional module okay now if you are developing any project at all that requires either gyro tilt sensor uh, JSM module you can go ahead and plug it into any of this uh, uh, FLC headers here okay now I've also provided uh, IDC cable with a frying lead that means if you require uh, let's say a module which hasn't got a plug on it you can just go ahead and connect this frying lead to the module and plug it into the board okay all right now if your project requires it one of the easiest way of getting started with creating a microcontroller based project is to use a development board like this or a simulator okay this lets you get off the ground quickly now you can write your code in any of the languages you can use assembler C++ or just C okay all right now I will also uh, show you how to create uh, projects in MPLAB X and how to download the uh, generated hex file into this microcontroller all right by just using ordinary USB cable all right okay now before you can do that that means the board has to come with a bootloader every single board that I send out will have a bootloader programmed into the microcontroller so this lets you use just ordinary USB cable to power it at the same time program it I'll show you how to do that at some point okay I will also talk about microcontrollers and how to use one because these are embedded systems and embedded systems are simply microcontroller based systems I will go into details what embedded system is okay I have designed this board for students and engineers alike the reason why engineers can go ahead and use it because it gives you that flexibility to prop any module into this board so it's sort of a motherboard okay and the good thing about it is that I've got all the control lines on this if uh, uh, FLC uh, header okay so you've got all the control lines here and they are buffered to these resistors to these resistors here so even if you make a mistake and why your what you call your module wrongly you can't damage this uh, microcontroller because you are buffered through this uh, 10k resistors all right okay now the good thing about this board I've said it before but the good thing about it is that uh, you don't need all these fancy uh, programmers hardware programmers like this you don't need one you don't need that to download your code onto the microcontroller because these programmers can be prohibitively expensive for students and hobbies alike engineers maybe can afford it but not hobbies and students okay now let's start by uh, exploring some of the modules on this board okay I have designed this board as a teaching aid for learning the principles behind firmware programming for embedded systems okay now all these modules that I have provided on this board will aid you to learn and understand how to use these inputs and outputs in a real system 
okay now I send every single board out with a bootloader programmed in this microcontroller so you can power the board and program this board just by using a USB cable yeah okay okay now this is done through a virtual RS232 that is a chip here a virtual RS232 COM port okay it is an FDTI chip now this chip can uh, can send and receive data or commands in your program any program that you write okay all right this chip is what interfaces this chip is what interfaces between the microcontroller this one and the USB cable okay now if you look at the board closely I've also included 2 by 16 character alphanumeric LCD this one okay then a power connector here for external power supply although I have included this but you do not need this to power this board you can do that just through the USB cable through this uh, USB socket on the board I've also provided a buzzer that's a buzzer okay two potentiometers that one and this one now I've provided two potentiometers one is for simulating the ADC I'll talk about what ADC is when I come to explaining what uh, microcontrollers okay so one for simulating the ADC and the other for the LCD contrast okay now I've also provided few jumpers here for freeing pins on these LEDs uh, if you are doing any project which requires more pins that means what you can do you can just remove these jumpers you can remove them and by doing so will free the control lines from these LEDs to this uh, FLC uh, headers all right okay now uh, I've also got jumpers here which is for the UART now uh, UART is an acronym which stands for uh, Universal Asynchronous uh, Receiver Transmitter I will not waste my time here to explain that I will explain it when I come to explaining what microcontroller is and what it does okay so I've got a UART socket here for connecting modules now we've got on the board we've got two tact switches now this tact switches one is for simulating a digital input and other one is for resetting that this one is for simulating uh, digital input and this one is for resetting the microcontroller okay now uh, I know you are hearing new things digital input you want but we will only talk about this when we come to microcontrollers so two tap switches here one is for resetting microcontroller and the other one is for simulating the, the uh, a digital input okay I've also included on this board PWM socket let's look at it so the cell screen here is reading PWM I don't know what I mean the camera view but PWM stands for pulse width modulation I think I will expand on that pulse width modulation when I come to explaining a microcontroller okay so we've provided a pulse width modulation socket here that means you can connect any module at all that requires that socket okay I've also included a USB status indicators here so these are USB status indicators we've got RX and TS that means if the USB is transmitting you will see this light flashing if it's receiving you see that light flashing okay so is the USB status indicator which I've I will also explain it later okay so one is for the transmitter and the other one so one this TS is for the transmitter and the RS is for the receiver now 
we have an onboard light sensor here which is that one which is called LDL now LDL is an acronym which stands for light dependent resistor uh, this is used in uh, all the street lights that what it does is that it changes its uh, resistance based on the ambient light which is shining on the head okay we will use it in a project maybe later all right now there is also a power indicator here uh, which is uh, which is called a cell screen rating PWR which is a power that means if you put the USB cable in this LED will come on let's just try that anyway I haven't come to doing the project but let's just try that and see whether it works so I'm gonna plug the USB in there plug in the USB okay oh this is a project that I did I'll explain that later okay all right so that means we've got the uh, power LED here which uh, is the uh, the power indicator okay now on this board if you look at it closely I've also provided a very generous prototyping area here okay uh, now this prototyping area if you are a student and you are doing a project which requires maybe a little circuit uh, to be made you don't have to go and buy a breadboard for your circuit or if you are an engineer and you are sort of designing a unit which require just a tiny circuit what you can do you can knock your circuit here <laughs> in other words you can build your circuit here and just have uh, your circuit connected to the control lines so this prototyping area is for you to build your own circuit okay all right if you choose to do so now this board also features uh, this 10 by that's one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so it features 10 by 10 FRC expansion headers so these are all expansion headers okay now this header can be used to add additional module okay like the JSM I think I explained it in the previous tutorial but yes the expansion uh, headers here are for uh, modules like JSM GPS distance sensors gas sensors etc etc you get what I mean so what you can do uh, using the uh, this cable the IDC the IDC cable this one using that uh, you can add additional module to this uh, board that if you require it okay now after okay I've also provided here a programming socket which is the this one programming socket which is the ICSP although I said earlier on that you can program this board by using just a USB cable but this socket a, uh, this socket can be used to connect external programmer or debuggers if needed okay all right now this board is very easy to set up I've also provided demo programs all written in C we will use some later but demo programs all written in C to help you to exercise your various uh, input and output ports and these short programs provide skeletons that you can modify to try different operations in embedded systems that means if you want to program embedded uh, systems you can just use this short code or example codes that I provide to build upon I've also provided schematics of this board so this schematics if you go to my website this uh, schematics can be found under downloads to help you understand how things work on this board okay now those example codes that are provided uh, can make uh, getting started fairly easy because you don't have to start from the scratch if you are creating any code 
those example codes will help you all right so what I'm going to do from here after at least explaining some of the modules on this board because I've got few modules here I don't think I've explained everything okay anyway that's it we've got LEDs here also for simulating status of any product at all if you take washing machine if you take laptop you've got LED to tell you whether these machines are on or not so that is LED now uh, let's go and use MP lab X to create a project which will flash this LED will flash these four LEDs and turn this LED into LED chasers so first it will flash it then the LEDs will start chasing each other so it's sort of LED chaser now after we have created uh, this project we will compile the project we will use the bootloader which I said earlier on that which is downloaded in this uh, microcontroller to download the code so we will only use USB cable to download the code into this microcontroller now remember remember you have to bear in mind that now the skills and techniques gained using one of my board are all applicable to all microcontrollers yeah so that means if you gain any skills at all using this board you can apply those skills in any of the microcontrollers and the reason is that uh, microcontrollers have a common core cross they, they have a common core uh, across their whole range so if you use even two pins microcontroller which i don't know whether we have two pins let's say they start from uh, six pins or eight pins if you use six pins to learn how to program them you can even program 100 pin okay so they have a common core across their whole range okay all right now let's go and start creating projects <laughs> 